Annie King. And I'm Matt Phillips. And we made this awesome box. Yeah. Okay, so if I check out this uh, book from the library and I think it was fantastic or useful or entertaining for whatever yeah. reason, and I want everybody to know about it, I just come to return it to the library and put it in the awesome box. And then? And then the, the person working the circulation desk checking in these works uh, finds that it's in the awesome box instead of the regular returns box. So they scan it a second time, it gets tagged in the awesome system, and then of course it gets checked in too. Now that it's in the awesome system, you should be able to view it in a web browser along with other things that have been recently awesomed, or this has been returned a whole bunch of times, maybe it's making its way up the most awesomed list, so you should be able to find it there too. And the idea is to get the community interacting and to gather uh, digital data in an analog way. I, I like its simplicity and its lightheartedness and its, its whimsy. You don't very often get to kind of physically vote. How often do you get to do that? There's no, there's no trick or anything. You don't have to sign up for an account or any silliness. You just physically place your vote in one box or the other. We put out a box at Widener and a box at Lamont. I, I thought before we implemented it that there would be just like tons of DVDs and you know the bestsellers, New York Times bestsellers and things like that. But it's actually been a little bit more academic and yet like fun, fun or very interesting sounding academic titles. Academic pole dancing yeah, there was. or some bizarre title like that. Instructions on how to pole dance academically or something odd. Do you something remember that? About gender and pole dancing oh, okay. or something like that. One of the most eye-catching titles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have plans for um, more libraries at Harvard, obviously, and doing a bigger launch um, to the whole community. We mostly focus on staff. And um, ideally, I think public libraries are a great place for the awesome box and getting them around the country. So, you know, I think that the library, its contents may kind of change over time, but it's really kind of a community gathering place, hopefully. It's kind of the center of campus community. And so I think that's what the Awesome Box does. It brings the community together. So people are voting on works that they like, and other members of their community can see those votes. So you can see what your community is engaging with.